welcome to a brand new vlog series. I am at Heathrow Airport and I am on my way to Los Angeles for a two week holiday. I'm going to LA, I'm going to Disneyland, I'm going to San Diego, I'm going to Laguna Beach, I'm going back to Disneyland, I'm going back to LA and I am so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot explain how excited I am for this trip. I have come to the airport, I've done my check-in, I've come through security, I've had um, a nice little chill in the Aspire Lounge. I get, um, sorry there's some noise in the background here, I get the Aspire Lounge free with my um, Amex card so that was pretty cool, I just chilled there for a while, had a cheeky morning glass of Prosecco but um, it's quarter to one LA time so really that's just a nightcap right <laughs> so I'm just about to get the transit over to the B gates I have never been to LA I've never been to Disneyland I've never been to that side of the US at all so just can't wait I'm so so excited for this trip Okay, so some time has passed since we last spoke. I think the last time I had the camera was as we were about an hour and a half or so away from London. Um, I look a hell of a lot more tired than I did then. Uh, the flight was grand, like it was a bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Leg room was great, food was great. It went really quick so I was working, all that sort of stuff was great. Um, and I got off the plane pretty quickly because I was in a really good seat near the front. And then I hit the immigration queue. And actually as I was walking up I thought it was going to be okay because all the machines were free and like you had to go to a machine and, and like do all your information. But then I don't know if it was because like it was my first ESTA but when I did the automated machine it was like you need to go it had like an X on it or something and everybody got a slip but like a lot of people's slips had an X on it like the majority of people and anyone who slipped had an X then went into a different line and um, but like loads of people were in that line so it wasn't like it was I don't know I don't really understand what was happening but the line that I was in was the biggest line it was absolutely humongous and like every time you thought it was like nearly like, like you only had a few up and backs left you'd get to the end and there'd be like a windy bit and oh my god I was two and a half hours getting through immigration it was very stressful <laughs> by the time I got out like there was a few bags from my flight which makes me think that like other people must have gotten through quicker or gotten through a quicker line or something and I think it was to do it probably like people who've already been on an ESTA maybe because I have a new passport and a new ESTA so I don't know but whatever happened it just wasn't good and the room the room was so hot and it was just it was really horrible it put me in a bit of a bad mood um 
yeah like uh, initially i was all right i was like i kind of expected an hour like i even like really pessimistically thought it could be up to two hours but like by two and a half hours i was just so exhausted um and then like got through got my bags then there was like this like weird line to get out like where you had to give the slip that you'd gotten from immigration and that just took like another 15 minutes because everybody like had just got the slip and gone through and then put their slip away somewhere so but the little paper slip that you got after you then got your bags you then had to hand that over on your exit out it was very strange and then i came out like and normally when you come out into an airport and i didn't look it up beforehand but i just assumed it would be like every other airport you come out into an airport and there's really clear signs to get you to car rental and there just wasn't like it was just like oh car rental is walk right and then i'd be walking right for ages and there'd be no signs nothing in the interim and then eventually like i'd walked between terminals and it turns out that the car rental place was like not along the walkway it was on one of the central medians and it was literally one sign that said car rental and it's all the car rental buses all pull in there so that was just manic as well that was just crazy because like all the buses were all trying to pull in and out and traffic was trying to cross over and anyway <laughs> i got to avis and got my car it wasn't actually happy with the car that they assigned me i've got avis preferred so i could like i could easily just change it so i just changed and actually went up to a suv type car i got a jeep um the type of jeep it is but it's a big car anyway <laughs> i just i kind of feel more comfortable in a big car when i'm here in the us because like everyone else is in the big car um but anyway got my change which is fine you can just like as avers preferred there they had a section where you can just pick a different car and go straight to the gate and like you're on your way but then because i'd been so badly delayed it'd been so long since the time that i thought i was going to pick the car up that like my rental had timed out so like they automatically would have had my credit card details and taken all of that so i didn't have to give them my credit card but because that had timed out i then had to go I'd gone to the gate to leave and they were like, no, you have to go back in. So I had to go back into the rental place, go back in, get my card swiped, all that, back in the car, back out again. So it just like, it just seemed like everything was going wrong. And then, then it was like half four by the time I started to drive, which meant I was hitting traffic. And like the whole time I was, for like the first 20 minutes I was driving, my time just like didn't change. Like it kept just staying at the same time, meaning that more traffic was like building later on the route. Oh, anyway, anyway, that is all behind me. But I just think like in these kind of circumstances, I do like to explain like what what the kind of journey has been like because it's nice to be prepared for these kind of things. And oh wow, if I could have global entry, I would have it. I can't have global entry because I'm an Irish citizen, not a British citizen. And Irish citizens can't get global entry right now. We're not one of the countries that are approved to have it. But if I could get it right now, I would get it because I just don't want to have to do that again. Now my family are all flying from Ireland, so they have pre-clearance, so they're not going to have to deal with any of that hassle, which is really good because they're only after just landing right now. Actually, I'm actually going a bit dark. <laughs> they've they've just texted me to say they've just landed now. Now their flight was five hours behind my flight. I've just got to the hotel. They've now landed in the airport. They're gonna breeze out as a domestic flight. No immigration problems. But yeah, they'll have to get their rental car, but like they're probably gonna be here in an hour and a half. And I was five hours earlier than them. So, right. I have now arrived at the hotel. We are staying at the Hotel Aventura. That's the same name as one of the Universal Hotels in um, Orlando. That's how I remember the name of it. And it's on Fedora Street. So it's actually in like Koreatown area. So it's kind of like downtown LA. Um, and we chose this one because it's a good location for some of the things that we want to get done um, for tomorrow. So tomorrow we've got a full day where we're exploring LA. And we also want to go to the Griffith Observatory this evening. And all that kind of stuff is like, a good commute from here whereas when we come back to LA later in the trip we're going to be over at Venice Beach which is like the opposite end of LA so we wanted to be like here to get those kind of things done tomorrow so yeah the hotel seems quite nice um, I'm going to give you a quick little room tour okay so we just come in the door we have our bathroom in on the right here it's a really big bathroom actually and um, so we've got a nice sink there with some toiletries they've given us like shampoo conditioner and body lotion i think i'm actually going to jump straight in the shower after this um but i wanted to show you the room first so body lotion shampoo conditioner we've got some body bar soap we've also got a face bar soap which is cool 
um, nice big sink mirror with me looking terrible after all, so many hours traveling um, and we've got some towels I think that's a hair dryer under there yeah it is and we've got some toilet roll toilet we won't look too closely at that um, we have a nice shower a nice big um, shower head I love these big shower heads and it's just a really big spacious shower which is just very nice um, then we've just got these two beds now the beds are actually a little bit smaller than I thought like these are yeah these are quite small it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze <laughs> for too nice but I think tonight we're gonna be so tired it really won't make any difference and um, nice big window over there and then sorry some of my stuff is already already out here but we've just got um like a little desk with a drawer nice little desk lamp really big tv which is awesome I'm hoping this is a smart tv I haven't tried it out yet and we've got a fridge, some drawers, and some little storage space under there. But also, we've got this like Nespresso machine, which is great, and some Nespresso pods. So that is awesome. And then a bucket to get ice. I did see the ice machine, some water, and some cups. So yeah, it's pretty standard. Like then we've got the aircon over here. So yeah, it's pretty basic. Oh, what's this? I found a door. Oh, and we've also got a wardrobe. <laughs> a wardrobe with a little luggage stand. That's handy. But yeah, it's pretty bog standard room, but it's just what we needed. We just wanted like a location more for um, tonight and tomorrow night. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna hop in the shower, freshen up, feel a bit more human, and then um, I'm gonna check in with my family because I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna drive to the Griffith Observatory and meet them there. But I think also I'm supposed to bring them some food <laughs> so we can sit up there and have some food. They had mentioned like a burrito place that they wanted to get burritos from. So I think that's the plan, but I will check in with you after my shower. I have had a shower. I feel so much more human. And I just realized um, I was about to head out like to have a little wander around the area while I wait for my family to arrive. And I realized I did a nice time lapse from the airport in the car where I pinned the, boat, the GoPro up. And I just realized I left it on. So <laughs> the time lapse has been going like just sat in the car park for the last hour and a half. Um, yeah, so not gonna be the most exciting time lapse I've ever done. <laughs> um, hopefully the footage though coming from the airport was nice. So uh, you will have seen that already at this stage. the room I did just pop out um, into the local area and I was gonna have a proper wand around and then I saw a nail bar and I didn't get a chance to get my nails on before I came away so I now have some lovely rose gold nails um, and that was literally around the corner from the hotel so yeah so I just popped in and they were able to do me there and then and I'm pretty sure my family are about to knock on the door because Rachel texts to say that they've arrived at the hotel and um, they do have to just register the car at reception just so they know that what car it is that they've got because obviously I didn't know because it's a rental car, so I couldn't tell them in advance. But yeah, I'm hoping they're gonna be arriving very shortly. Let's see if I can hear them outside yet. Empty corridor still. They should be here soon though. Hello! Hello. <laughs> hey, have family! <laughs> the immigration guy that I was talking to was like, oh, next time you should find some family to travel with. <laughs> you should find, he said, next time you should find some family to travel with. Why? <laughs> because I was by myself. Aww. So we're just in Taco Bell and me and Rachel have got the gordi, what is it? Cheesy gordito crunch? Yeah, which is what we got in Orlando and it's amazing. So you get two of these things, but then you also get this, which is a hard and soft shell taco. And then it has like cheese and oh, all this goodness inside. And it's amazing. So we're gonna eat up. And oh my God, look at the size of my drink. I'm taking it my head. We have come up to the Griffith Observatory. Rachel's here. Hi. I know, I think, I think I showed you guys coming in earlier. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we came up to the Griffith Observatory just to see LA at night. And the city is foggy. It is a bit foggy. <laughs> it's not as foggy as it was when I was landing earlier, but like, it is a little bit foggy. I'll take you guys over to the edge and show you, <laughs> which makes Rachel really nervous. Anxious is the word. Anxious, yeah. You don't like things near edges or over water. <laughs> They're the two edges, things. That's an edge. 
Okay. But if it was just near water but it wasn't an edge, would it be okay? <laughs> Um, so yeah, like obviously we're quite tired. I mean, look at my eyes. <laughs> but um, we thought it was good just to pair through tonight because it's, yeah. it's what it's about half nine. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we thought it'd be good just to pair through so that we'll sort of reset our body clock. Um, but we didn't expect the hike that we had to do up here because normally you can drive up further, but for some reason they're doing some works and stuff, so you can't drive all the way up this evening. So we have to walk. We have just come back from the Griffith Observatory. Uh, we got to see the fog. LA skyline essentially <laughs> and some fog. <laughs> we did see some fog, but no, we did get to see a lot of the city, which was pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, we'll have to go back during the day so we can see the Hollywood sign. But I think you were saying we'll see the Hollywood sign tomorrow from somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to um, the Chinese theatre and that sort of Walk of Fame area. Um, but yeah, we're all back in the room getting ready. I've got my cat kits in Disney pyjamas on and Rachel has her matching ones on too. You're already ready for bed, aren't you? Yeah. I need to go in and do my little nighttime routine. I like to, <laughs> I like to just put something like really hydrating on my face when I've had um, a flight because I just get really dry skin. What did you use? A spray or something? Have you used a few things? I used the Kiehl's. They have two hydration masks. Because we got, um, if you watched my Vlogmas, we both got um, the Kiehl's advent calendar. And we got some really good stuff in that. Yeah. Um, and it was a lot of it was like travel size. So um, yeah, we got a couple of masks and one of them was a hydrating mask, you're right. Two. Um, oh, is there two? I think one's an overnight one. That's not the one I Ah, okay. Okay, I might try that. Oh, I've also got my um, Origins um, mask. I don't know what that is. That's an overnight mask as well, isn't it? That's the one I put on the plane like about three times. <laughs> But my my skin just like drinks up, but it does keep my skin nice and it's like soft and not dry or anything. Yeah. So what do you think of the Griffith Observatory? Yeah, it's good. Come back here. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see it in the daytime though. Yeah, I think it it looked cool at night, but like you couldn't take any good pictures. That was the problem. Well, because it was foggy as well, so I didn't have the pictures. Yeah, but as in like of the actual observatory as oh, well. Yeah, yeah. The observatory itself looked really cool at night, but the pictures didn't really come out very well, yeah. did they? No. We'll have to go back but yeah you couldn't see the hollywood sign and then like it was a bit foggy but when i was landing today as well i was saying like you couldn't see anything with the fog so and then yeah tomorrow what we do we've loads of like little plans tomorrow yeah. don't we we're going to like an american diner in the morning that my dad has picked out we're going on the little uh tram thing the angel flight we're going on that i'm just like taking picture of it oh i don't know i didn't know you go on it <laughs> are we going on the angel's flight do we do we don't know. Do you, you go on it or you do go on it, don't you? I kind of go on it, yeah, but I don't know whether like, we'll go on it or not. Well, it's only it's only a hundred yards long. Yeah, it just goes up a hill, long, doesn't it? So, well, it depends. There could be hundreds of people there. Oh yeah, we'll find out tomorrow yeah. whether we're going on that or not. And then we also want to go up that um, what's it called? Sky space. Isn't it? Sky space. Yeah, the big tower that has the slide in it. That'll be fun. Yeah. And then there's a the grow the farmers market as well. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to the Walk of Fame and we're gonna do the Chinese theater and then we're gonna go to the Grove. Best family's market. Oh wait, what's the shopping center? The Grove. The recycler. Sure. Oh okay. No but no we're going to another farmers market in the market in the morning. Oh. The Grand Central Farmers yeah. Market. Yeah, so there's two farmers market. So my uh, brain is not working now. <laughs> I've been up like about twenty six hours at this stage. Mm. Oh god, that's so bad. It is about 26 yeah. hours. Oh, I need to get myself to bed. But it was an interesting travel day. It, like I explained earlier, like I didn't have the best experience um, coming through LAX, but I was just still so excited to be here. And then it was lucky that like I had planned to be here before you guys anyway. So it yeah. wasn't like you you were sat at the airport waiting for me or anything. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just exhausted now. And the flight was good though. And I, I, when I got here, I realized I'd forgotten my toothbrush and then I found my little pack that I got from BA on the plane and I had a little toothbrush in it. And that made me so happy because <laughs> I was really sad that I didn't have a toothbrush and our hotel didn't have toothbrushes either. So, and then I just found it and that's just made my day. <laughs> it's little things. Yeah, I can get over like, what? <laughs> three hours getting out of the airport because I have a toothbrush. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna go get myself ready for bed and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> so thank you for following along on this travel day and I hope you'll join us for the rest of our trip.
So get dressed, pack your bags, feel the holiday mood You won't believe what we're about to do Cause we're off, California I long to wrap my arms round you Wanna love and renew you Do all